So I want to talk about health indicators because uh, in the health and fitness world, people are always interested in health indicators. Good health indicators that you get from your doctor are things like your BMI, um, your resting heart rate, your blood numbers, uh, cholesterols, HDLs, LDLs. These are great. They're very important. Get them. Um, pay attention to them and you can watch them move over time. You know, you go to the doctor, you, then you go to the doctor again a year later and see how they're doing. I got some other health indicator numbers for you I'd like you to think about. How's your squat pattern? How many squats a week do you do? If you've got a good squat pattern, and you can find that out if you've got a good squat pattern in the garden, and you can practice your good squat pattern in the garden. If you've got a good squat, squat pattern, you've got a good health indication. And if you do your squats a couple hundred times a week, a couple hundred squats a week, you've got some good health numbers. How about your lunge pattern, your push pattern, and your pull pattern? If you've got a good push pattern and you use it, a good pull pattern and you use it, you're keeping your muscle mass, and your muscle mass is gonna help all of those other health numbers. More muscle mass, more strength, are the things that are really gonna to add to your quality of life as you get into your 60s, 70s, 80s. You could well make 90s and 100s, and you're gonna need your muscle mass. Push pattern, squat pattern, pull pattern, lunge pattern, these are some health numbers that you can watch change and you can affect week by week. Think about that.